we got here. All those games are a dollar each. Welcome to my very first game hunting video on this channel and I'm really excited about it as this is something I've really been excited about lately. And I know some of you may know me from a little known PlayStation podcast called Sacred Symbols, but lately I've been really interested in retro gaming. Specifically, I'm trying to kind of get back to my roots. I grew up on PlayStation 1, that was kind of my go-to console for many, many years. And over the years, I sold a lot of the games I had. It's devastating, but it's not a story uncommon uh, like many of you out there. There were just young kids trying to get games and so you trade stuff in and then later on you wish you still had it. So throughout this series, my goal is to regain my PlayStation 1 collection and expand on it as well. But I'm not limiting myself just to PlayStation. I'm willing to get some PlayStation 2, maybe some GameCube, basically whatever I come across. If it interests me and it's a good deal, I'm going for it. So for this first video, I went to the Butler Area Toy Show, and I've never been to this event. In fact, it was just like a week or two beforehand that I even heard of it, but I thought, why not? I grabbed my dad, I grabbed Ben, and we headed to check it out. So let's see what's going on. Make sure to stick around for the end, because let me tell you guys, I found a pretty awesome deal. Also, one last thing, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Some, you, you know, all that stuff that people ask you to do to the video. Okay, so we're here with our boy, hey. Ben, Papa. We're checking out something a little unique and we've never had anything quite like this that I can think of in this area. Toy show? Hasn't this been here before? I don't, I have no idea. Okay. Uh, but we're gonna check it out, see if there's some games. I don't know if there will be, but it's something interesting in uh, Butler. So we're gonna check it out. We'll see what's going on. Looking pretty cool. I think I'm gonna quick sweep for games and then go slow. Okay. But we'll see. Oh, dude, I didn't even think about anime stuff in here. I'm already seeing Dragon Ball. Dude, that's sick. All right, let's take a look at these. Excuse me, what you got on these guys? They should get priced to be bottom right now. Oh, you're right, yeah. They don't okay. belong to me, they're one of my employees. I just brought them. I'm trying to remember, I don't think I have this one, but I can check my inventory. Dude, look at these. Oh my goodness, that is so stinking cool. Look at this, this giant GameCube display. That is too awesome. Look at this Resident Evil display here too. Dude, look at this weird Atari. Oh. A 1040ST. There is definitely some cool stuff here. This Yoshi here. How much you got on this guy? Uh, 10. 10? Okay, cool. Yeah, brand new in the box. It good for like 20, 25. It's after half the price. This is at least. Okay, cool. You gamer? I am, yeah. You from around here? I am, yeah. You been up here yet? I have actually, yeah. That's so cool. I'm gonna keep shot. I might have to come back around for this, but dang. That is so cool. That's amazing. What are you showing me here? This is it's a it's a Spider-Man doll. I'm pretty sure it was fairly early on. Not like he's kind of you know super early, but before they really nailed down the plastic molds. I was gonna say because just his hands and his head yeah. are plastic. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, we found something cool. Probably more than Ben and I want to spend. But look at this. Crash Team Racing Pinball. Have you ever seen one of these in the box before, Ben? Um, 
Yes, when they were new. Dude, see this? KB Toys exclusive. Very cool. Do you remember Animorphs? Oh, of course I remember Animorphs. So, okay, this one. This, this doesn't have the. It doesn't have the art. Yeah, but for. do you remember how I, it was on an episode of Sacred Symbols? Chris mentioned the the middle. Oh, that's not it either. The middle transform yeah. is always like the most horrifying yeah. uh, creature. I found Ben here. Have you found anything? Yes. You have. I haven't bought it yet. You haven't bought it. There's a lunchbox I want. Lunchbox. Lunchbox. Uh, From Fox and the Hounds. Oh. It's one of the only movies to ever make me weep uncontrollably as an adult. Recently. I don't know recently, but mm. I'm old now, though, so. Okay. Well, we'll see. Let's take a look. The uh, inside's a little beat. No thermos. That's all right. Was was there? Would there be a fox and hound themed thermos inside? Yeah. Dang. Typically. Did you see this Walking Dead one? Dead I did. Two. I have zero interest in that. You do fifteen. I got the next headline: Ex Mayor haggles down kids' lunchbox. Dude, I'm checking. He told me I'm gonna get. Dude. Look at all these Game Gear games, dude. Uh -huh. Game Gear. Uh huh. We got here. All these games are a dollar each. Dollar each? Yep. Okay. Incl like, eat these two or? Yep. Those are a dollar each. The Game Gear are a dollar each. Okay. The only ones that aren't is I got some Game Boy original games down there that are priced. Oh. Okay. No matter what these are priced, they're a buck. Okay. Cool. Take a couple of these. Why not? See anything fun up here? Most of these over here are sports. Those are not. I'll grab those. It's like a bunch of UMDs. These are cool. I like want to collect these, but I also don't. I do too, but I don't have a PSP anymore. It's crisis board yeah. in this promotional thing. That is so cool. Here you go. Oh, nice. It's the best one. So we just got finished up at the Butler Area Toy Fair. Much better than expected. Did find a couple really cool things. So I got this, 10 bucks. I don't know if that was a deal or not, but sometimes you just get something because you think it's cool. And then Ben, I feel like at the beginning, Ben's here too, but he's behind the camera. The beginning we saw a booth where a guy was selling games for a dollar. And I feel like when you find stuff for a dollar, you just kind of, if you find something and it intrigues you, you might as well go for it. This one, I actually was looking for at Too Many Games. This was, uh, a, the, damn, <laughs> this is the Tony Hawk game I had growing up. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, super happy that I was able to find it. I didn't check to see if these had discs. Dude, crispy, complete, very nice. So this is probably one of the ones I'm most excited about. We got uh, Call of Duty 3, that's also complete. Dollar for that. Uh, Black Hawk Down, Ben, did you play this at all? Do you know this I game? I did not play that game. I don't know anything about it, but it was complete. One dollar. I don't know if it's worth anything. Uh, DDR Max Dance Dance Revolution. I have DDR Max 2, which is my favorite DDR game that I played growing up. Dynasty Warriors 3. Again, if I see something, especially if it's Japanese, I'm just going to go for it. And then this was a bit of a random one. The only Xbox game, but Tony Hawk Underground 2. Another game I had, and I believe that I played on Xbox at the time. The one other find, actually two other finds, three, is I got some PSP games. I got Monster Hunter Freedom 2, loose, but also a dollar. Now this I'm really excited about. This is like some kind of special promotional Shinra Electric Power Company, Final Fantasy, Crisis Core disc holder, but inside we've got a copy of Crisis Core and Final Fantasy Dissidia. So a neat little pickup here. Uh, I love, love this. This is a game that I was kind of hoping to find at some point. I would have rather had it complete, but this is a good alternative. Especially for a dollar. For a dollar. I mean, look at that. This is cool. Um, Mario Party 8 for the Wii. Uh, totally complete. And it was 10 bucks. And I think this is like a $30 game or something like that. So not a bad little find. I got a uh, Fox and the Hound lunchbox. And this isn't something I was looking for. I don't collect lunchboxes. But Fox and the Hound is one of my favorite and least favorite Disney films ever. And because it's so sad, but that's also the reason I like it. So we just dropped Ben off 
And that's why Papa's in the back. I'm chauffeuring him around high class life over here. And I stopped at the P.O. box because I realized we have a package from a Sacred Symbols listener named Brandon. I'll make sure to not show his address. I can't wait to open it. I got to know what it is now. So let's check it out. All right. So what do we got in here? It looks like some smaller packages in here. Okay. So I got them all slightly opened, but I don't still don't know what's inside. Let's take a look uh inside this first one. Oh boy here we go okay inside the first one final fantasy anthology look at this final fantasy 6 final fantasy 5 let's take a peek inside oh man brandon what are you doing hooking me up this is the first one dang dude this is sick let's check out the second one looks like we've got another two disker okay here we go star wars Rebel Assault 2. I don't know much about this game, but very cool black box. Let's take a peek inside. I think I might have had this for for PC or something. That is really nice. Okay, so there's one left. Uh, we'll see what's inside. Dude, okay. Army Men Sarge's Heroes. I think I may have played this at a friend's house, but dude, the 3DO PlayStation black box super cool dude thank you so much brandon this is awesome love getting stuff like this thank you dude